Today, we are going to show you how to set up inReach tracking using the Garmin Explore app. InReach tracking does require an active satellite subscription for the track points to be recorded by the Iridium satellite network. Your compatible InReach device also needs to be paired to your compatible smartphone. In this video, we are using an InReach Mini 2 and an Android smartphone. With the InReach tracking turned on, your track points will be sent to your MapShare page so your friends and family can follow along on your adventure. If you haven't set up MapShare, please visit support.garmin.com or follow the link in the description. Depending on which satellite subscription plan you have, there may be a cost for each track point. To begin, open the Explore app. Select the device icon on the toolbar. Select the tracking option. InReach tracking can be set between every two minutes and up to every four hours based on your need and plan option. Your device's battery life will be impacted by the frequency of InReach tracking as well as other device settings. You can find battery life expectations based on your device at support.garmin.com. The default tracking interval is 10 minutes. Select the interval to adjust the frequency. We have the Freedom Expedition plan and want to send a track point every two minutes for the higher level of detail. When you are ready to start tracking, just tap the start button. Your inReach device will display a tracking icon. Tapping inReach message opens the inReach message window. This allows you to select who you would like to send your MapShare URL link to so they can follow along. Make sure that you have your message location turned on. Select who you would like to receive the message through the Iridium satellite network. By selecting Share, you can send your MapShare URL via email or messaging. These options require your mobile device to have a data connection. When you are ready to stop tracking, tap the Stop button, followed by Stop Tracking. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.